Have you ever looked at the edges of the continents and thought, gee, it looks like they could be pieces of a jigsaw. They fit together really nicely. Well, you're probably not the first to observe this, and I'm sure you won't be the last. In fact, in the early 20th century, Alfred Begner, a German meteorologist, proposed the theory of continental drift, using evidence, predecessors, and some of his own observations. The theory hypothesized that continents drifted around the Earth, sometimes plowing into one another. One of the main supporting observations for his hypothesis was the shape of the continents. Begner noticed the jigsaw fit of the continents. The continents could be rearranged to fit together to make one supercontinent he called Ur continent, German for one continent. Nowadays is known as Pangaea, which is Greek for all Earth. You can have a go at making your own mini Pangaea. Start off with a piece of bread and paint a picture on it. Put it out in the sun and let it dry out. If it's not sunny, put it in the oven at 100 degrees for about half an hour. Once it's dried out, break it into a few pieces and then give it to someone else to see if they can reassemble your piece of bread. Although it's easy for people to see that the continents look like they once fitted together, Begner's theory was so radical that he was laughed at. What would a meteorologist know about the Earth? Rubbish! Begner needed further evidence to support his theory. Begner started studying fossils, such as the Mesosaur, a freshwater reptile. Fossils of the Mesosaur had been found in both South America and Africa, which suggested that the continents must have been attached. Further research found other fossils that also seemed to have either swum or flown across water, which would have been impossible, which backed up Wegner's theory that the continents once fitted together. Wegner also used geological evidence to support his theory. Wegner determined that the Caledonian Mountains of Scotland were the same rock types as the Appalachian Mountains of the eastern United States. Being a meteorologist, Wegner also knew a lot about climate, and during fieldwork excursions in Svalbard, Norway, Wegner found fossils of tropical plants indicating that the climate had changed dramatically there. Again, hinting that the land masses may have moved from a more tropical climate to a much colder one. During field work, Begner also found evidence of glaciation in South America and Africa, indicating a much colder climate in these continents. Begner noticed that bituminous coal could be found in Antarctica as well as in the Northern Hemisphere. Bitumous coal usually forms in tropical forests near the equator. Again, this was evidence that the continents had moved. Wegner put his theory together in a book called The Origins of Continents and Oceans, but alas died before any mechanism could be found to support his theory. Thus, Wegner died before his theory could be accepted by the scientific community. Thanks for watching. For more activities that you can do at home, check out our website or our other YouTube videos.